in America we have the right to decrease our documentation, our paperwork, if you will, our possessions and our property to anyone. This is the federal laws that we uphold. What I'm angry about with regard to social media, Facebook in particular, is that they are impeding my right to see the life of my legal heir. It is not something that I must do every day. It is something I must affirm in a time of COVID that that individual still exists. At the same time, I am looking for copies of that documentation that I put through LinkedIn, but it appears that someone in LinkedIn deleted legal documents that I have the right to hold in that space. I am very angry if a relative of mine who is technically third party to me, meaning they are not first party to me, got onto my social media tools. But if these companies cannot tell the difference in people through the, what do we call it, EIE numbers and numbers on our technology of what is and isn't us, then maybe we should not be having and using them anymore. Now that doesn't make sense because what does every potential employer and every potential strategic partner and every potential profitable partnership admit or suggest or recommend? Please find us on social media. Please connect with us there. Please look at the jobs through social media. The problem is that social media is now becoming an impediment to the First Amendment in that we have freedom of assembly. And it's an impediment to the Constitution because we have the right to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. And my happiness does depend on the right to occasionally know that my legal heir is all right, thriving and living with her bastard husband who destroyed God's plan for everyone. But the reality is you cannot protect people from the wife beaters of America if we have social media interfering with our rights to communicate. We can also have our consumer rights impeded if social media is being allowed to re regard us as children. I have the right to comment on any company in America and my experience with their employees. And if their employees are doing unlawful things but they are not willing to hear it at the local level, then we must have a way to provide our consumer rights to someone at the corporate level who understands what is and isn't lawful in America. Typically, an hourly employee is not familiar with federal laws regarding their industry. That is a failure of training of every corporation across America. It is not an ill-willed man who suggests this. It is the fact that most people still expect that their property that they're purchasing from a company is not being gossiped about, talked about, and shared off with someone so that their whole life is put into some sort of a ill-willed game.